Right, so let us uh, start looking at pointwise convergence, convergence of sequences of functions. So, let us take a sequence f n, a sequence of functions each f n is defined on x to r so we say that uh, f n converges point wise to a function f x to r if f n x converges to f of x for every x belonging to x. So, at every point you look at the value of the function f n that gives a sequence of real numbers and that converges to f of x. So, that is point wise. So, uh, that is same as saying uh, in terms of uh, definition of uh, convergence of sequences that is for every epsilon bigger than 0, there exists some stage n which will depend on epsilon as well as on x such that f n x minus f of x is less than epsilon for every n bigger than this number n. So, this stage may depend upon epsilon of course, uh, and it may depend on the point. So, for different points the stage may be different. right? So, we had looked at some examples uh, last time. So, we looked at uh, one example was I gave you the graph of the function 0 to 1. So, here is 1 by n and uh, you look at the graph to be say you can start at 0 itself does not matter where you start. So, you can go up to so this is a point 1 if you like you can go to minus 1 does not matter. So, this is the graph of the function. So, if that is your f n then this f n converges to f and what is that f? f of x is equal to 1 if x is bigger than or equal to. So, if you are including 1 over n then uh, bigger than or equal to 0 and is equal to 0 if x is less than 0. So, that meant that if so, f n can x converges to f x for every x, each f n is continuous, but f is not continuous. Okay. We looked at some other examples also. So, okay. so second example we looked at was uh, I think uh, f n x equal to sin of n x divided by n n bigger than or equal to 1. Then f n x converges to f of x which is equal to 0 identically 0 for every x. Okay. So, converge is point wise to the function because sin is always bounded right and third, but this example this was an example particularly saying that if I look at f n dash of x exists for every n 
but f n dash of x is not convergent. Oh, okay, I think I should need to change that for the, if you want not uh, convergent, so let us put it square root of n here. And then the derivative will be square root of n into cos n x, which will not be convergent. Okay. I am just repeating the examples that we had done last time. So, that essentially says that f n differentiable need not imply f differentiable. Uh, I think so, let me give you one more example of, let us look at, uh, uh, I gave one example last time, let me give another one here. Let us look at uh, Let us look at rationals between 0 and 1. Let uh, what shall I write? So, let us A be the set of x belonging to 0, 1, x rational. Okay. So, look at all the rational points between 0 and 1. A is a countable set. So, A is a countable set. So, let us write A to be equal to some R 1, R 2, R n and so on. So, given enumeration of the rationals, it is a countable set. So, call it R 1, R 2, R n. We are not saying in increasing or decreasing or anything, just enumeration of rationals. So, define F n to be equal to the indicator function of the set R 1, R 2, R n. So, what does that mean? What is the meaning of the indicator function? If you recall, that meant that f n of x is equal to 1, if x is equal to R 1, R 2 or up to R n and is 0 otherwise. Of course, x is between. So, we are looking at this in the interval as a function 0, 1 to r. So, look at this is a subset of 0, 1. So, given a subset A, which is a countable set rationals in 0, 1, define f n to be the indicator function of the rationals R 1 up to R n in that enumeration. Then each f n is integrable. Right? Because each f n is a function which has only discontinuities at the points R 1 up to R n. Everywhere else is a constant function. Right? 0 only at these points the value is 1. So, it has only jump discontinuities at this finite number of points. So, it is a uh, finite number of discontinuities. So, f is integrable. Okay. Where does f n x converge to? What is f of x? It is nothing but the, it will be 1 if x is any one of the rationals r 1 or 2 r n. Otherwise, it will be 0. right? So, it is the indicator function of, Okay, so let me write it is 0, it is 1 if x is equal to r n and 0 otherwise. So, it is the indicator function of, uh, so it is indicator function of the set A. Okay. A is the set of all rationals in 0 and 1. Right. So, what does the indicator function of rational mean? It is 
1 at all rationals in 0 1 and 0 at all irrational points right it is discontinuous everywhere and uh, if you look at the upper sums or lower sums with respect to any partition the upper sum will be equal to 1 the lower sum will be equal to 0 so this function is not f is each fn is integrable f is not integrable So, this uh, very uh, simple way of looking at convergence of sequences namely at every point look at the sequence f n x and look at the limit if it exists that function. So, then uh, you say f n converges point wise. So, what these examples illustrate that point wise convergence does not preserve continuity does not pre uh, preserve differentiability and does not uh, preserve integrability. So, it is a reasonably bad uh, way of looking at convergence of sequences. So, we would like to define a notion of convergence which uh, is reasonably well behaved. So, that is called uniform convergence. So, let f n x to r b. let f n x to r be a sequence of functions we should say n bigger than or equal to 1 we say f n the sequence f n converges uniformly is uniformly to a function f on x to r if we want something stronger than uh, point wise convergence. So, it says if for every epsilon bigger than b 0 there exists some stage n which depends only on epsilon such that for every x belonging to x f n x minus f of x is less than epsilon for every n bigger than n epsilon. So, what we are saying is convergence of f n x at any point brings it closer to f of x and that closeness is not affected by the point x. So, the same stage works for all the points right. So, for every x so for every x uh, this is true ok. So, let us uh, look at uh, some examples Actually, that uh, we have one example ready here, namely uh, that f n x, which was defined as uh, sin n x divided by square root of n. Say x belonging to R. Right. So, uh, we want to claim that f n converges to f which is identically 0 uniformly right. So, uh, so for that we only have to note that if I take f n x minus f of x. So, what is that f is identically 0. So, it is absolute value of sin n x divided by square root of n which is less than or equal to 1 over square root of n. So, irrespective where is the point x the distance between f n x and f of x is always less than 1 over square root n. So, that implies given we can choose say a stage n epsilon such that 
f n x minus f of x is less than or equal to or is less than epsilon for every n bigger than n epsilon. Right, because you can choose. So, given epsilon n is such, one over square root n is less than epsilon. That's all you have to do. Right. So, choose n large enough so that one over square root of n is less than epsilon. So then, this will imply that this is true. So f n converges to f uniformly. There are many examples of uh, functions which converge uniformly. Let us look at, uh, we will uh, give more examples later on. Let us just uh, note one thing. So, note what is the meaning of saying f n, f n does not converge, f n, f n, the sequence f n does not converge uniformly to f. All functions are x to r. So, f n is x to r and f is from x to r. Saying that f n does not converge uniformly to f means what? So, once again I am trying to bring uh, your attention to the point that if you want to understand something is true, you should also understand when something is not true. Equally important to understand both ways. Okay. So, let us uh, write once again f n converges to f uniformly meant was equal to saying for every epsilon bigger than 0 for every x belonging to x, there exists a stage n epsilon such that f n x minus f of x is less than epsilon for every n bigger than n naught or than n epsilon. So, what is f n not converging to f uniformly? So, that is equivalent to saying so, for every we should change it to, so there exists epsilon bigger than 0. So, that for every x the statement is not true. right? And what is the statement that is not true? There is a stage after which something is small that should not happen. That means, after every stage I am able to find a point where this thing goes back. So, that means, there exists a sequence of point n k and there is a sequence n k of natural numbers and a sequence x k of points in x such that mod of f n uh, f n k the places where the things are going bad. So, that is same as n k x k minus f of x k is bigger than or equal to epsilon. Is that okay? For every x, the same stage works. So, it does not work for every x, the same stage does not work. That means, there are points x k where this thing does not work. right? For every k, there is a point where this does not work. That means, there is a stage n k, say that f of n k minus f of x k is not less than epsilon. It is bigger than or equal to epsilon. right? For every x, it does not happen. So, there is a sequence x k for which things go bad. Right, and what goes bad? Goes bad. This is going bad. Right. That means for every n, I am able to find some stage after which the things go bad. So that stage is for every k, right? N k. 
So, f of n k x k minus f of x k is not less than epsilon. So, two things are going bad. Something was happening for every epsilon, uh, for uh, every epsilon that is taken care of, for every x and for every here. When things go bad, that means there should be points where things are going bad. So, that is the points x k. And for x k, what is going bad? F n of x k minus f of x k is not less than epsilon for what n? At least every given any stage, I can find something after which. So, that is same as finding a subsequence x n k n k. So, this is what is it means saying that the sequence does not converge uniformly. So, this gives us a way of testing when is something not converging uniformly. For example, and you take ordinary sequences of numbers saying that a sequence a n converges to a, right? that means what? a n comes closer to a right? after some stage. If a n is not converging to a, that means what? Right? That means, there is a epsilon, right? say that whatever stage you give me, there is a something stage after which. Right? So, there is a subsequence, so a n k. So, a sequence not converging to a means, there is at least one subsequence, it is not converge. Right? But here, this was happening for every point also. So, there is a sequence of points where things are also going back. Okay? <coughs> 